yes, while well, Mommy and Richie are enjoying some quiet time, that's going to give Dad a little bit of time to work on an upcoming project because we are getting ready to move the boat. So in the next week or so, just waiting on a weather window, and we will be on our way east towards, uh, heading over towards Shelter Bay Marina, Linton Bay, and ultimately the San Blas Islands. So we got a couple of projects to do to get ready, but in the meantime, first you get to meet our new crew. Hey, new crew. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you? This is Sandra Andreas. and Andreas. And Andreas is from Switzerland. Yeah. yeah. And I'm from Spain. Spain, Espanol. Si. Yeah. Muy bien. So yes, Andreas and Sandra are here to give us a hand with some of our projects while we get ready for our next travels because they're going to be accompanying us over to the San Blas Islands. But today our first project we're starting with is this guy right here. And if you're wondering what this is, this is a brand new Mantis 125 pound solid stainless steel anchor. And you guys remember how much we've loved our Mantis 105 that's on the ground right now. That anchor has been unbelievable. <laughs> it held us through a couple of back-to-back -back hurricanes that were category five strength. And, you know, luckily we never saw more than what, about 70, 75 miles an hour. But with this one on the bottom, this one will take even more. And this is a lifetime anchor, solid stainless steel. Now we have this anchor. We didn't really need this anchor, but this is our prize from that video contest that we won with Mantis Marine there a couple of months back. For those of you that haven't seen that video, I'm gonna play it for you right now. November 2020 and Sophisticated Lady was about to come head to head with back-to-back -back category five hurricanes, Etta and Iota. The wind is going to be coming from the west. We didn't have time to test it. for so many days and this is the first day it finally went calm. For two solid days we had boats dragging down on us from every direction but with our Mantis configuration on the ground we'd never dragged an inch. Now, of course, we weren't having so much fun in the filming of that commercial, but making it was a lot of fun, and I want to put a very special thank you out to my good friend, Daniel Pera in San Andres, because he was the one who helped put that whole video together and helped us win that contest. So thank you so much, Danny, and we hope to see you again real soon. But for now, if you're familiar with the Mantis anchors, you know that they come in three pieces to be assembled. Now, this is a great feature because not only does it make it very easy for them to ship in a small container, it also makes it very easy to stow one of these bad boys in the bilge if you want to keep one as a big storm anchor that you can put together inside of about 10, 15 minutes. It's a really, really well thought out design, and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to put one together. <laughs> Okay, so you can see that the fluke of the anchor is all pre-drilled. Everything is set up. This is for the shank here. You see the shank, so those bolt holes are gonna line up right here using four of these monstrous bolts. And these bolts are so big that even my big half inch set, I didn't have anything nearly this big to accommodate it. So we got to use a couple of big wrenches. So that's what we're going to put it together with. And then these other two holes here, these are the mounts for the bar that you see right here, and that's the roll bar. So basically we need to start with these four bolts, gonna put in from underneath and just putting up through the holes and then they've sent along all of the grease packs. So an individual pack for each bolt because they've got a predetermined amount of grease that they want you to have on the fitting. We're gonna put the four bolts in from underneath, grease them all up, then we're gonna put the shank on top, put the nuts and everything on top, tighten them down by hand and then we'll start tightening with the wrenches. We'll take all the nuts and washers off the bolts. So now we've got four bolts. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up, and it's got some weight, <laughs> I will say that. And we're going to put in the four bolts, just like so. 
and I put a towel underneath. We got a towel underneath just so that if we get any grease, it doesn't go through onto the cushion. All right, so we'll just lay some of this grease out onto each bolt. And for now, we'll just get it on there and then we'll wipe it all in by hand in a second once we get all of them. Now, we need to raise the shank and drop it down on top of the bolts. So that should be fun. Okay, ready? Yeah. Wow. There we go. ¿Cuál es el punto? La ciudad está corrupto. Vida dedicado al paso contaminado y encaminado a lo. Next, we want to do the roll bar. That's this piece here. Oh, so it's going to be bolted on right up here. So this stays outward as far away from the anchor as possible to increase the leverage. When the anchor goes to the bottom, if it lands upside down, the roll bar will force it, will force it to roll right side up. Okay, and that'll help you set it much, much faster. Now we should be able to pick the anchor and just roll it onto its side so we can do the bolts. And you'll see there's actually two holes on the roll bar here. This is the bolt for, of course, mounting it. The secondary hole is just so that this will fill with water and not be buoyant. So it'll always be full of water, but when you bring it back up out of the water, the holes give the water some place to drain out very quickly. And that is how you build a Mantis anchor. Mantis 125. Yeah, baby. Yeah, it's not a very often occurrence on a sophisticated lady, but once in a while we need fuel. <laughs> We're almost empty now. We tried to run out the old fuel down to almost empty. So we're about there. I figure there's maybe five or 10 gallons left maximum, but I guess we'll see, see how much fuel it takes. Safety emergency nut. Yep, this is just a safety bit of string that keeps it tied so that if you accidentally let out all the chain, it doesn't just go overboard, it's still tied to the boat with this piece of string. Yeah. And that piece of string is strong enough to hold against it. But if you need to let the anchor go in an emergency, you've always got your knife with you. You just take the knife, put it in there, and, yeah, and okay. pull it, and then the whole anchor will go. Worst case scenario, but important to have.
So this is the second piece of our install, and this is a brand new Mantis swivel. So the swivel is designed so that if the boat starts circling around the anchor, the swivel will actually take all of that rotation out of the chain so the chain doesn't just start tying itself up, which happens very frequently, especially in these kind of winds where the wind is shifting around the boat all the time. No, that's good. Keep going. Okay, that should be good. All right. All right. And close the cover. piece of wire to lock the pin so the pin can't just randomly come out so that would be very bad it's our Is whole it house fixed? It's, a, it's fixed enough yeah once it can't come out it's okay this locks it so it can never turn because our with our whole house resting on this anchor it all focuses on this one pin but one of these pins comes out, we screwed. So that's why Mantis' attention to detail is very good. And I trust this stuff very much as long as it's put together properly. Let me twist that. Okay. Yay! And that's how you load a Mantis 125. <laughs> so yeah, it's not so much you need a big anchor for every anchorage, but having an oversized anchor really helps for short scope. So if you're in an anchorage where there's a lot of boats around, you don't need to put out as much chain because you know this isn't going to drag anchor. So it's all about security. So we sleep good at night now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Say goodbye. Right. <laughs> Alex, or you only just drop the line and then you slip out and... Mm, no, and that's for you, anchor. Any problems? No, just looking if all is clear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, we ready? You have the honor, uh -oh, sir, captain. <laughs> <laughs> First time in the water. All right, we good? Yeah, we should be perfect. Oops, in. Okay, down she goes. Because <laughs> yeah, we're only in about 12 to 14 feet of water, so that's a four to one <laughs> with a big ass anchor. <laughs> I'll go pull back on it to set and make sure she holds. Hopefully it holds. <laughs> First time out, right? It holds in the water. <laughs> okay, I got her at 1200 RPM. There we go. There we go. Boom. 
perfect though. And we are definitely not moving. <laughs> and that's why they say, set it and forget it. With the mantis, we just put it in the water and go to bed and sleep well at night and leave everyone else to worry about the squalls. Well, actually we worry about everybody is anchored in front of us in the squalls because usually they end up dragging down in front of us. But I want to put out a very special thank you to Mantis Anchors. We really appreciate the prize sending us the M125 to replace our old 105. And I know we're gonna get great use out of it for many, many years. So thank you again, Mantis. We salute you. Yeah. Everybody else, ciao. Yeah. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Let's <laughs> go.